from last night when I told you I was going to off. And then you're racing today. <laughs> yeah, no one forgot yeah, to more races this week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Roger Carew is an awesome 14th place finish in your uh, debut with Hendrick Motorsports. I know it's not what you wanted, but how do you feel about your night? Yeah, I'm just really grateful for the opportunity. Um, you know that Mr. H and everybody at Hendrick Motorsports and Chevrolet trusted me enough to run this special car. You know, representing Ricky and the Hendrick family. So I felt pretty good about the end of it, potentially getting a top 10, and I just got put in the wall. So pretty upset about that, but I'm just trying to keep my cool right now because I felt like that was my audition really for next year, just because my plans are still up in the air and looking for sponsorship and, and kind of being uncertain. So pretty uh, frustrated about it, to be honest. How, how sweet is that, though, to know that you get an opportunity in a Hendrick car and you have a legit shot at a top 10 finish in your first start with it? Yeah, straight up. I mean, it's dreams come true, and I just, my mindset through the day has just been gratitude. Like, everything has been so nice. The resources I've had has been just plentiful. and. It's been an honor to race for a team that my heroes race for. So if this was the, the only one that I'll get, and I can rest assured that I um, did my best. Talk us through the, the race and just that incident that you mentioned. Um, I really just was letting it come to me. Uh, just not necessarily taking it easy, but just trying to be pretty thoughtful earlier in the race and just trying to make it live to the end of the, the stage three. And that's when I really got more aggressive and, and started like you know, trying to get to people's right rears and, and just be more aggressive on restarts. And I felt like I did a pretty decent job. Just, uh, like I said, pretty frustrated looking at this pile on like five of those guys in front of me. You know, I felt like I, I outran them most of the day and um, that's just how it goes though. Uh, we, we talked about how the success is going to be in your execute. Uh, how would you assess just the lead up to this and just the race today? Yeah, I mean, I, I can be proud of myself for my preparation. Still have a, you know, some things to clean up. I think I just took it a little bit easy on pit road and um, in the first day, just like I said, just figuring out how to be consistent with this good of a car. Um, but I felt like compared to in class with the JRM cars, I was pretty close with them all day and, and times would be a little bit better and other times they'd be better than me. So proud of that, just frustrating looking at the score pile on. Um, just got to stay optimistic, man. I mean, that's the only thing you can really do. I could just rest assured I gave, gave my all today. And um, 14, I don't think it's indicative of, of the end of the race that we put together. But uh, I'm just really thankful and grateful that I had this opportunity today. So. How cool was that for you to see Tommy Joe Martins kind of pumping you up on Twitter when he saw that uh, you had the opportunity or he was coming up this week? Yeah, I mean, Tommy gave me my big break, you know, and, and it's been a blessing to make my starts, make mistakes, make big mistakes in this car, but learn how to race and make the most out of days. And all of that has helped me be better for today. So I'm super grateful that I was able to represent Tommy and Caesar and everybody at Alpha Prime. And what are the differences in the car with Hendrick that you noticed from the Alpha Prime car? Oh, I mean, they, the uh, Tommy stuff never really drove ter terribly, you know, it just wasn't always super fast, you know, not, not having a really good engine. And um, uh, compared to this one, like, you know, when I was in a carbon seat for the first time today, so that was definitely a different uh, variable. But overall, they don't drive super different. They just go a little bit faster on the straightaways and turn a little better. I saw you with uh, Rick and Linda and also with Bubba. How was that pull that free race? Uh, it was pretty cool. Um, just getting with those guys, to be honest. Um, you know that you read about them in, in history books, you see them on TV, and the have them know me and my family and uh, represent them on a national stage is really special. Any more scheduled starts to be in with uh, I hope so. Uh, this was a one-off, contract was a one-off, so hopefully I did good enough to, to come back with them at some point next year. Off-season plans at all? Travel and uh, find a ride for next year, that's really it. Good job.